Okay, for question 10, they give you an image, they give you a microchip and its image. And they ask you to, um, they ask you to find out the, so they say the pattern for a circuit board was reduced in size using enlargement by the ray method. Because the pattern is made smaller, the scale factor is less than one. The diagram below shows the pattern before and after the reduction. Okay, so what they want to do first of all is on the diagram to find the center of enlargement. The way you do it is take two corresponding points on each of the diagrams. So, or you can take all, all of them. There's eight, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You just need to take two. So I'm going to take, say, that one there and the corresponding one there. And what you do is you connect them up and you continue the line out. And then I'm going to take this one here and this one here, connect them up, I continue the line out. Where the two lines cross, that's your centre of enlargement. If you were to do it with all eight points, all eight points oh, will converge on this spot. But two will give you your answer. Okay? That's how you get the centre of enlargement. By measurement and calculation, find the scale factor of the enlargement. Okay? The scale factor, to get the scale factor, it's the image divided by the original. Okay? Scale factor. is the image divided by the original. Um, Paul, I saw you making some measurements there. Did you get a measurement for this? Eight. Did you get two. a measurement for this? Two. So it's two divided by eight. Okay. Which is a quarter. Okay. So the scale of enlargement, they call it enlargement even though it's smaller, just so you know. Just because they call it enlargement doesn't mean it's bigger. <coughs> it's a quarter. So that's a quarter of the size of that. Are you sure that was eight and not six, the original? Yes. Uh, oh no, sorry. One, two, three. Are you right? Six. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Feeling that wasn't right. Yeah. So it's hard. Yeah. You could just see it wasn't important. Yeah, size. Yes, yes. Sorry. Okay? So scale of enlargement. But to get the scale factor, it's always the image divided by the original. You can just remember that. Image divided by original. The area of the original pattern is 27 centimetres cubed. They want you to find the area of the image. Okay? So to get the area of the image, it's 27 multiplied by the scale factor, and because it's um, area, sorry, because it's squared, the answer is squared, because it's area, you have to square the scale factor. Okay? So it's 27 multiplied by a third squared. Just put them to your calculator, lads. Right? Just put in 27 multiplied by, bring up your fraction, one third squared, and you should get it. You might have to put the fraction bracket, I don't know. Um, I would. I think I'd put the fraction in the bracket. Okay, but that's how you do it. You multiply by the scale factor um, to get the area of the image. All right, so let's have a look at B. The other thing that they can ask you, scale factor, is just to find the missing walls. So they might tell you that that is two, okay? Um, if you're going from the original, the original to the image, 
you multiply by the scale factor. If you're going from the image to the original, you divide by the scale factor. So if that was 4, and you want to know what that was, that should be 4 divided by a third. If that was 2, and you want to know what that one, that would be 2 multiplied by a third. When you go into original to image, multiply by the scale factor, image to original, divide by the scale factor. Okay, the circuit board for an electronics game. The side panel of the game is approximately triangular. The drawing below is for the side panel. The measurements are as shown. Okay, so it gives you a right angle triangle. Once you see a right angle triangle, um, you're, you're talking trigonometry, so you're talking sine, cosine, and tan. This is 6. This is 11. I'm going to tell you that the angle here is A. I don't know if it gives you that weird symbol for angle. Okay? Find the angle correct to the nearest degree. Okay, so this is where you have to use sine, cosine, or tan. Go to your papers. You're looking for, what, the page 16? Yeah. Right? And it tells you that sine, cosine, and tan. Okay, it tells you which sides you use. So the first thing you have to identify is which word are you going to use. So you have a look at the sides that you have. You have this side and this side. They correspond in the diagram here to A and B. And the only word that uses A and B is tan. Okay, so the word you're going to use is tan. And tan, it tells you, is A over B, which in this case is 6 over 11. The tan of that weird thing. Um, so, same way in the last question where we found the sign, you do the same thing here. Shift, tan, uh, and 6 over 11. So, you put that straight into your calculator. So, shift, tan, fraction, 6 over 11. 6 over 11, so is your bracket, equals, and you get 28.61, says to the nearest degree, so 28.61 is 29 degrees. So 20 degrees, okay? So then it gives you the screen of the electronics board. Right? That's how you get the side of it, and now how you get the screen of it. And the screen they tell you is 12 here and 7 here and you have a line here. So this is a rectangle lads. So you know if that's 12 then that's also 12 and if that's 7 then that's also 7. Okay? You're still in your right angle, triangle area. You're still in your sine, your cosine. So the screen measures 7 centimeters by 12. Find the length of the diagonal of the screen. Okay. This is similar to our coordinate geometry. Remember in the coordinate geometry to get the length of the line, it was the square root of the boxes down squared plus the boxes across squared. Exact same thing here. Square root of the boxes down, if you do this on square paper, would be 7 plus boxes across is 12. 
and just put that straight into your um, calculator and you'll get the diagonal. Right? So that's why, like if you do the coordinate geometry, it's the same way. And what they're testing you here on is do you know Pythagoras' theorem, which is the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square on the other two sides. Okay? But do you see the connection between that and the coordinate geometry? Yeah? Do you see the connection that the squares down, the squares across, the length down, the length across squared gives you your slanty line? Okay, it's the exact same according to the job, you do the exact same way.